Days before the second anniversary of Russia's full-scale invasion, Ukraine decided to withdraw from Avdiivka, a city in the Donetsk region. In the U.S., the White House blamed the move on Congress's failure to provide additional aid, saying that Ukrainians continue to fight bravely, but they are running low on supplies. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky spoke to the Munich Security Conference on the day of the withdrawal. Do not ask Ukraine when the war will end. Ask yourself why is Putin still able to continue it. Ukrainians in Kyiv are taking it hard and bracing for the prospect of a prolonged war. Kyiv independent editor Olga Rudenko was at her desk when the Russian invasion began in February 2022 when her online publication was just months old. Anthony Blinken said that the invasion of Ukraine is going to start uh, before dawn. And that was the moment when it suddenly became very real. When Russian President Vladimir Putin finished his speech on the eve of the invasion, she was ready. We prepared a news item saying Putin announces um, war against Ukraine. And uh, when he stopped speaking, we published it. And... Uh, Around that time, we heard explosions. After two years of continuous war coverage, the Kyiv Independent became a main English-language publication reporting developments on the ground in Ukraine. Its goal is to help the world understand what Ukrainians are fighting for. It is very frustrating to be here in Ukraine and to watch all the news coming out uh, about the Congress not uh, being able to vote for the aid package for Ukraine, because it may be, you know, for them, maybe numbers. But for us, it's about real lives and real people. Volodymyr Omelyan, a major in the armed forces of Ukraine, once served as Ukraine's Minister of Infrastructure. Standing in the Kiev's central square, he reflected on Ukraine's state of mind. We become much stronger uh, by arms, by people, and definitely it's not a kind of pleasant cruise, and it's not that the war will be over in two, three weeks or very soon. It will take a while, unfortunately. But uh, morale is still very high, because if there is no will, there is no victory. And in our case, will is strong. In Kyiv, people hope the war will end. Uh, I want to see my mother, father. They are from, uh, uh, they are abroad. I'm here saying because I can't uh, come to them. We scary every day, every night. We we want to peace in our country. We want stop Putin and return our territory. This is, will be a long war and uh, feel terrible. Ukraine uh, uh, will not uh, win uh, uh, with uh, this big enemy without international community. The Ukrainians who spoke with VOA said that if drafted, they would join and defend their country. They also said that they hope the world understands they are fighting for common democratic values and that they need help. Moroslava Gungadze, VOA News, Kyiv, Ukraine.